Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome everyone to the new video tutorial on the new QSkills Special Edition iTools software. QSkills iTools enriches your students' learning or experience and reduces your lesson plan. Basically, it is an on screen presentation of the student course book, which includes interactive audio and video clips as well as navigational tools. Um, in this new edition, the software is accessed through a USB and it does not need to be installed. So once you receive the USB, you will find the following uh, folders, listening speaking level 1 as well as reading and writing level 1. There are separate components as well as the iTools instructions. Um, all you have to do in order to run the program, just click on the book that you want to use and just click on iTools. But before I do that, um, you also have the teacher resources available to you at the, um, at, in the USB. You have the test, community grammar worksheets, discussion board packs, the student book answer keys, as well as the teacher's handbook. Unlike the previous years where the resources was included in the iTools software. So again, all you have to do is just click on the iTools um, icon here and it will open the course book. Um, you'll notice there are two tabs here at the bottom, books and bookmarks. So all you have to do is select the unit and the course page that you want to present to the class. Um, again, it's the same exact uh, student book, just interactive with the um, audio and video components as well as some of the navigational tools. And uh, also, just like uh, um, it's on, in the USB, so you don't need to install it onto your computer from a DVD. So anytime you need to use a computer, a different laptop, or PC, all you have to do is just bring the USB with the following folders. So let's get started. Um, you'll notice over here, this is the page. And on the right side, this is the navigational panel, which has many uh, navigational tools to help you um, for the classroom presentation. And um, like I said here, if you click on the, the audio um, icon, it will bring up the audio um, component for that question. And just click on play, and it will play the audio. To close, all you have to do is click on the X at the top right corner. In addition, it has video components um, throughout the units. So all you have to do is click on the video icon and it will open up the following video screen. You have the ability to show subtitles by clicking this button. As well as you can use these scripts as the sentence will be highlighted accordingly once the video is played. Um, click hide subtitles if you like and or close the script and to maximize the screen all you have to do is click on this maximize uh, button at the bottom right corner and to close out all you have to do is click on the escape button at your um, at the top left corner of your laptop um, in addition you have navigational um, bars left and right as well as you have the capability of showing two pages at a time or clicking single page at the bottom of or two pages okay. um, in addition uh, you can hide or show drawings if you use the pen feature as well as you can completely wipe the screen so in case you're teaching you don't want them to see the uh, the the course book until you're ready so just click on the arrow create the add arrow at the bottom left corner of your screen um, as well as you have a timer countdown counter so just click and enter the number or to close out at the top right corner um, in addition, you have the panel over here. Uh, if you click on the um, the arrow key and click on the uh, 
the presentation, you can move the course book around accordingly. Um, in addition, you can use the zoom feature by clicking on the arrow and clicking on the spot that you like to highlight. To reset, all you have to do is click on the reset zoom level button over here. Uh, you have the, also the pen feature, so if you decide to maximize the screen, and use the pen feature here, and choose a color that you like, and you can start writing, um, you know, whatever you need to write. Um, if you want to erase, all you have to do is click on the eraser and click and select the area that you want to erase. Uh, in addition, you have the capability of highlighting certain text, uh, um, text if you feel it's important by clicking the blue icon. You can choose the color that you like and the size and just select the area you want to highlight. Again, if you want to reset the zoom, just click on the reset zoom level. And you see the highlight is still there. In addition, you can add text by clicking this icon here and you can click on it to move it around. Um, whatever notes you like. Um, you know, whatever you like. If you don't, you can just go ahead and close it out at the top right corner. Um, you have the uh, capability to also add a web link by clicking this uh, chain link here. Um, for example, you could type in the name and you can do this before class and save it. And once you enter the classroom, all of this will be available to you once you decide to use it. All right. And as you can see, it goes to the page. Um, in addition, you have the option to uh, use screen shade tool, so you can select the area that you want to shade or to prevent students from seeing. Just click on the corners to um, shape what you want to, uh, you know, save or hide. In addition, you have the spotlight tool where it will select the area that you actually want to highlight. If you want to remove from this, all you have to do is go ahead and click the arrow um, at the top. Alright, so um, I guess this concludes the iTools uh, software tutorial um, from the e-learning unit. I hope this was beneficial and uh, thank you and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.